Do you know what happens when a devil is struck down on this charming plane of existence? It returns to the hells, to the very point where it last stood before venturing to whichever devil-forsaken plane it died on. In the case of our friend Yergir, the Orthon you so handily dispatched in the Temple of Shah, he manifested in my House of Hope. He returned to me chastened but intact. His wounds healed, his body restored. He thought I would dismember him, but he has his uses, so instead I am re-educating him. We delivered the devil. Now I want what I'm owed. We had a deal. Indeed we did. I discovered all there is to know about those scars of yours. It's a rather grim tale. <laughs> Even for my tastes. As you wish. Brace yourself, Astarian. We're about to unveil your destiny. Carved into that ivory skin of yours is one part of an infernal contract between the archdevil Mephistopheles and your former master, Kazador Zar. In full. The contract states that Kazador will be granted knowledge of an infernal ritual so vile it has never been performed. The rite of profane ascension. It promises to be a marvelous ceremony, very elaborate, incredibly ancient, and entirely diabolical. If he completes the rite, he will become a new kind of being, the Vampire Ascendant. All the strengths of his vampiric form will be amplified, and alongside them he will enjoy the luxuries of the living. The arousals and appetites of man will return to him, and unlike Astarian, he will have no need of a parasite to protect him from the sun. But the ritual has its price, as all worthwhile things do. Lord Cazador will need to sacrifice a number of souls, including all of his vampiric spawn, if he is to ascend. Imagine how he felt then, when one of those precious spawns simply disappeared into thin air. The only missing ingredient is Astarian. You are the final piece he requires to complete the ritual. Your scars bind you to it. Your soul will set off a very wave of death, bringing Kazador his twisted life. And that, my tragic and toothsome friend, is that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have business elsewhere. <laughs> Do you think it's so simple? The end of my life amongst them, just when I was starting to enjoy it. He'll never leave me alone. I didn't think he would when I was just one more wretched toy for him to play with. But if I'm the key to this power he craves, he'll hunt me to the ends of Faerun. <sighs> I need to take the fight to him. And I need you to help me. Thank you.
Ah, my favorite traveling companion. <laughs> Wish I could say I was surprised about Cazador's pact. Where blood, death, and betrayal parade, you can bet your ass a devil is riding Grand Marshal. We're going to keep Astarian safe. On my life, Cazador won't touch him. <clears throat> Full-fledged vampires are not so easily slain. Astarian's master will be no exception. Fortunate for him, slaying monstrous fanatics is a pastime of ours. I don't believe it! They can't be! Breathe, child. Resist not the winds of change. Let them carry thee. No. No! Listen. Dost thou not hear it? Where creation meets ruin, where morning meets midnight, the root of all being. Balance. They're dead! I can't! Balance! Your very soul is tangled in shadow. Arabella's magic, wild as cursed briar. Her talent is now yours, too. The girl must learn the ways of the arcane. But she shan't remain here. The Weave knows her purpose. It will guide her plainly, if she listens. Arabella holds a power beyond reckoning. That of the decaying forest and the seedling that bore it. But it is unbalanced. Her yoke is already heavy. If she walks thy path, it will surely break. Arabella will depart once thou dost leave these accursed lands. She will find her way safely. Thus, it is fated. Bowman, you're making me leave. Fear not, girl. Abandon not the weave, and it shall not abandon thee. I... <laughs> Eve's grief fade as if it were your own. There is a lightness in her now, veiling the power within, soothing it. Is that my future? Is that why they died? It is. It's wonderful. Thank you, Bowman, for being nice. If there are people like you around, perhaps everything will be all right. <laughs>